welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to have another go at the tie-dye. Now I like the way the other one came out but what I thought I'd try is I thought I'd try a different fold or crinkle for it but also what I thought I would try is I would try and wet the shirt first to see if that assists it, helps it or changes it in any way. And this time I'm going to be using amber don't know what color amber is sure it's a nice color lake I have no idea what lake is and rose i think i'll use those three colors and we can see how we get on and as before all i'm going to do is add some water to the bottles shake them up make sure it's all dissolved nicely and then tie it up and pour it but what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to make this shot this chamois this shirt wet and then wring that water out. And I think this will help it have more of a capillary action and bring the dyes down into the shirt rather than being dry, but we will see. And then we can have a comparison between this one and the previous video I did. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and ring my little bell so you get notifications when my next video is coming out. So that's nice and wet all the way through. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to fold it almost like a concertina. So backwards and forwards like this. Including the arm. We'll probably get another fold in there like that. Then I'm going to fold it again and then I'm going to put some elastic bands on it as if it was a sausage and see how that goes so like this and these elastic bands that come with it are very strong yeah that's fairly even and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate the colors as I go through and we'll see how that comes out I'm all ready now and I've got everything mixed up and it is just literally a case I think of put oh yeah look how that's going on there now and I think it will be much lighter color as well so I'm using the amber first then I'm going to use the lake then the rose oh, that's quite a nice color in it It'd be good to compare this against the previous one to see which one worked out the best. Back to the amber. Oh, I've used nowhere near as much dye either. Probably got enough to do two or three more shirts, I think. Well, depending on how this one comes out. Then the lake. And then the rose. I'm going to see if that's gone through. No, but it probably will get through to there. Shall I turn it over and do it again? I think I might. <laughs> so i'll leave this again for 24 hours and then we'll take it out we'll have a look at it i'll wash it dry it and then i will show you what it looks like in comparison to the first one we did so this has been going for 24 hours and i'm quite interested to see how this comes out and i'm hoping it comes out as good if not better through wetting it than the one i did where i didn't wet it and i loved that one as you know I really do like that. And to be honest, I don't think it made any much difference. Only difference it made by wetting it is I didn't have to use half as much dye as I did on the other one. By only using half as much dye, what it does, it saves your product and it makes it go a lot further because I think that come out really well. But the proof will be in the actual washing of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it a wash. If you'd like to say a thank you for my videos and to help support this channel then the buy me a coffee link is in the description below and anyone that buys me a coffee gets their name put on the board anything that i get from buy me a coffee i do invest back into the channel right let's go and get this washed and we'll see how it comes out see you in a sec but this is all dry now and this is obviously the second one i've made i don't know if you've seen the first video and it came out really really well wetting the t-shirt first certainly made the dyes go a lot further I think it worked and allowed you to not use half as much 
of the actual die. But it still gives you a great result. So in comparison to the one that I did before, I used a lot brighter colours on this one, but it came out really well. There's the comparison between the two. And I used a different technique as well, obviously, to make it. So I think it's worked really well. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you've had a go at using tie-dye since uh, my first video. I will link the kit in the description below, so don't worry. So if you want to get hold of it, it's very reasonably priced. It's a really good kit. I'm very impressed with that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And ring that little bell. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you and help towards any of the materials and equipment that I use in, this videos, in these videos, then the link for that is in the description. It's very, very much appreciated. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.